The legend of Kanate took flight the way many things do in sport, these days, be a gif. Actually, in Kanate's case, it started with a series of gifts that came in a flurry on a Monday night in Morgantown when no. 10 Kansas visited No. 6 West Virginia. Sagaba Kanate's first rejection came on a fast break 38 seconds into the game. Less than 30 seconds later, Kanate swatted another Jayhawks layup attempt away. Then, on a two-on-one fast break, SVI Mike Iliak tried to posterize the sophomore center who was positioned under the basket and met Mike Iliak at the rim with a two-handed block volleyball-style stuff. Mitch Lightfoot tried Kanate two minutes later and he, too, got denied. His fifth of the first half came when Kuz Marcus Garrett soared in from the right wing only to get shut down with another two-handed block. Kansas players shouldn't feel deflated. Kanate, as the last line of defense to the vaunted press Virginia attack, has done similar to the rest of college basketball as the Mountaineers roared into the Sweet 16 after blowing out both Murray State and Marshall. His 3.3 blocks per game ranks third in the country. It's an eye-opening stat especially considering that he is the shortest player among the nation's leaders in blocked shots. WVU assistant coach Eric Martin, aka the Sags Whisperer, who works with the Mountaineer big men, calls Kanate a unique talent. A member of the Cincinnati 1992 Final Four team, Martin said he's never been around a player with such uncanny timing as a shot blocker, he's explosive but we've had better athletes, Martin says, adding that Kanate doesn't have the freak of nature type of athleticism that former Cincy big man Kenyon Martin had. Kenyon had really elite, explosion. If you blink your eyes he's really up above the rim. I've been around and played all over the world, I've never seen anyone who had a quicker jump, Sags isn't like that. He's gonna gather himself. He's bigger than Kenyon and he has huge, strong mitts. I've never seen anybody block two hand shots like that. I wasn't around with the Bill Russell era. It's one thing to block a guy's dunk but to do it with two hands, that's just something you don't see. You know how much confidence you have to have to try and do that? A split second earlier or later and you're getting dunked on, Sags blocks are at the rim which you rarely see anywhere because guys are always worried about getting dunked on. He's figured out a way to meet guys at that time, asked how Kanate's figured this out. Martin traces it back to the sophomore's upbringing in Mali, Africa. Kanate grew up playing soccer and said he only started playing basketball in 2014. Last year, a guy from Texas, Jared Allen, dunked right on top of Seggs, says Martin. It was like ESPN's dunk of the week. It didn't bother him one bit. Most kids who are raised in America would be crushed, Kanate doesn't get hung up dreading some kind of self-esteem stigma, for me, I just don't really get into those things. Oh, they're gonna dunk on me and I'm gonna be on Sports Center. I don't really care about that, he says. It's just a mindset. Though you're gonna get dunked on or you're gonna block their shot, it's out of my mind if they dunk on me. It's behind me. I got dunked on so many times last year. I learned from it. This year, it's a lot less, that was how I was raised. I grew up with 13 brothers and sisters. It was more competitive. My brother and my dad always told me, the past is the past. You just gotta keep it going forward. Kanate has come a long way indeed, like Javon Carter, who last season won National Defensive Player of the Year honors. Kanate came to Morgantown as an unheralded recruit. Like five of his brothers, Kanate, one of 14 children, came to the U.S. to pursue education and basketball opportunities. He played at a Class A high school near the Pennsylvania-Ohio border. There weren't a whole lot of people recruiting him, says Larry Harrison, the WVU assistant who recruited him. He played for a local AAU team, played for a small high school, so he didn't have a lot of exposure. Wichita State, Penn State recruited him. It just didn't recruit him. We had friend who went to Walsh College when Hugs Bob Huggins was the coach there. He called me and said there was a kid that I needed to take a look at. After Harrison returned from watching Kanate play, Harrison admitted to Huggins that he wasn't sure how good the prospect was. But he was big and he was very athletic and they should keep recruiting him. In high school he wasn't blocking shots like this, but now the way he's blocking shots, it's become his art, says Harrison. Kanate's development is rooted in the same place that many other Mountaineer sleeper success stories are, the weight room. In less than two years, he's reshaped his physique and packed on almost 20 pounds. He's now 258 pounds, I remember giving him 30-pound dumbbells and I thought he was gonna drop him on his face, says Andy Kettler, WVU's strength coach. The idea was simple. Teach accountability. Teach him to work hard. Just keep it simple. Take a handful of simple things and build on it, Kanate now can do single-arm bench press with 115-pounders for sets of 10. 
Kettler says Kanate's vertical jump also is well over 35 inches. My thing to him is he's 6 feet 8 inches, not 7 feet.